this is the, the last game you have at Tannadice in November before heading out to four games on the, away from home basically on the trail. How important is it to, to send the fans that are here in numbers uh, on Saturday home with a good performance and a good result? Well, listen, we love playing here at Tannadice in, in front of our own fans and you know they've been brilliant for us this season. They've turned out in great numbers and I'm you know delighted that we've been able to repay their commitment with some really good football and and plenty of goals along the way as well. Um, you know, we don't fear going on the road. Our, our away record is is really good. I think uh, I think they've picked up sixteen points from the six away games up to now. Uh, you know, five wins and a draw. So you know, we've shown already that uh, you know being away from home is not an issue for us. But of course, you know, we would like to sign off tomorrow with our Saturday. Sorry, with a, a really pleasing performance in front of them. Um, hopefully some more goals to cheer on and hopefully another organised and disciplined performance from the players. These, these fans, as I say, when they go away from home, because they go in numbers as well, it's not just at Tannadice, they're in numbers. There were over a thousand at, at AFB the other night again. Yeah, they're a credit to the club. You know, they really are. And, um, you know, in times of real difficulty and challenging circumstances for everybody financially, um, you know, they always seem to find a way to to come on the road with us and support us and they really do make a difference and I, I think they, they understand the difference that they can make and um, yeah, they, they've been very very supportive of myself, the staff and the players and we don't take that for granted, that's for sure. Have you noticed any differences in the performances and playing of, of Inverness over the, the time since Duncan Ferguson's coming in your analysis? Have you seen anything there that's a surprise to you? Um, I mean, look, I, I, I've said numerous times that I felt they were in a false position. Um, you know, I think they've got some real quality in the squad and some good experience and the likes of Billy Mackay leading the line for them. Um, you know, I, I think that Duncan has probably made them a little bit more organised in terms of their defensive shape. But, you know, I, I don't like talking too much about that type of thing because I always think it's a little bit disrespectful to the to the previous manager and I've got a lot of time for Billy Dodge and I think you know Dodge was unlucky in his last game at Wraith Rovers that I watched um, you know could have been a couple of goals up at half time and unfortunately lost the game from his point of view and ultimately that's what cost him his job but um, you know Duncan Ferguson has certainly got a reaction from the players um, they're responding to whatever instructions he seems to be giving them and hence why they've picked up you know seven points in their last three games so um, it's going to be an extremely difficult tie We'll be firm favourites, as we always are here at Tannadice, and um, you know we have to handle that level of expectation as we have done up to now, um, and and hopefully get all maximum points again. You mentioned previously you haven't had much opportunities over the last year to get first team football, but how does that make you feel now that you're probably the first name on the sheet every week? How how does that feel for you personally? Yeah, I've like said when you grow up, and um, obviously I'm in a very privileged position to to be a, um, a footballer um, but obviously to be a footballer you want to play you want to play games you want to be on the pitch um, sometimes that doesn't happen especially as a goalkeeper there's only one position um, so you've also got to accept sometimes that you're not going to play um, but obviously my hunger was to play um, so I'll, to have that each week um, is good but also like I said there's competition there's other really good goalkeepers here. Jack's pushing me really hard, so I've also got to make sure that every week I perform because if not, um, that shirt might not be mine next week. And, and the relationship you're building up with the defence is, you seem to understand what each, which each others are doing and things. How, how does that come about to, to build up that in such a short period of time? Yeah, obviously, um, as you I've probably seen some of my games are quite vocal, um, which is obviously helpful. But like I said, it, it it's the stuff we do during the week. We work extremely hard on the training pitch, um, working on shape, stuff like that, um, and then again building relationships on and off the pitch, so you understand people. Um, so that's how you build the relationships. But like I said, we've got such a good group of lads here, uh, a really honest, um, hard working group. Um, as you can see, we played here on Friday night and we're six nil up, and there's still people throwing their bodies on the line trying to keep a clean sheet, which is just the mindset of the the team at the moment to do everything they possibly can to be like the best performance so um, we just need to carry on and like I said the season's about consistency um, at the moment we're just consistently doing it but we're not getting ahead of ourselves we've got to carry on doing that 
for the remaining of the season. You mentioned there about clean sheets. I mean, obviously, it's one of these ones that's that's really important to, to win games. You need the clean sheets and things to be there. But obviously, it helps with a clean sheet bonus as well. Obviously, for yourself, every time that uh, you manage to get off the park without anything anything going past you. Yeah, um, like I said, I don't really um, look at stats, figures, this, that, and the other. Um, I just like to play the game, um, and obviously, when I cross that line, I'll do everything I can to. Stop that ball going in the net. So um, obviously, if, if I come off and I keep a clean sheet, I know I've done my job. Um, so that's that's the main thing. I just look at one game at a time and, and kind of go from there, really.